fingertips. Maybe I should cut them off. Although I can imagine the whole procedure would be absurdly painful, there is an alert to it. Fingerprints are special. You only get fingers once in your lifetime, and if you don't, you miss out. But more importantly, there is the print, which is very special, very unique, and forever tied to your identity forever. So, no fingerprints. A one-way ticket to a new identity. There is a lot of responsibility that comes with what you touch. Are your marks beautiful or hideous? There is a care to it, and there is a science, and each person has a fingerprint, so we all judge people by it. I asked someone with beautiful prints, and all they said was, Well, instead of cutting off your fingertips, why don't you just do something else? But that's very easy to say when you have it all figured out. So yes, I would love to do something else, and I can do that right after. So I asked an expert in the field if I should do this, and they said, Isn't lacking fingertips its own kind of fingerprint? Yes, opposite the fingerprint. Exactly what I want, yes, glad you agree. But then I ran out of meaningful people, and I had to ask you about this. And you gave me a very careless question. Why do you care about this? No one else thinks about this. Which was really quite pointless, stupid, careless, a complete lack of understanding. But then you asked me a very strange question. What about your toes? Are you willing to give him a shot? Toes. Toe prints. I have never in my life thought about my toe prints. Is this valuable to me, or should I be worried right now? I mean, I can cover my toes, actually, I do cover my toes, and this is curious, but I've never exposed myself like this before. Toe tips have toe prints? I... I never knew. It's nice, but... Am I supposed to be satisfied with this? Because I'm happy with the toe prints, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate it, but I have to admit, I feel as if I have exchanged one set of expectations for another, and I can't say I feel great about it. I've thought about this for a long time, so how am I suddenly supposed to just stop thinking about fingertips? Prints. Tracing lines. My entire life, I've been chasing after being, following my own path, doing what's good for me, and being as honest as I can be, but the more honest I try to be, the more dishonest everything else becomes. I was so different back then when it first started. I'd barely given any of this any thought, but things were different back then. The freedom to do what I wanted was slowly exchanged with my role, the possibilities available to me, what people think of what I do, and who those people are. The expectations changed, and I changed, and they changed, and in a way, my fingerprints changed too. That as I looked out and saw the changes around me, each line began to shift in meaning, possibility, and beauty. I just wanted to make things right. I wanted permanent marks. So it's now so strange to think that even something as permanent as a fingerprint is always moving, always changing in every way conceivable. At this point, I am willing to admit that it might not be a good idea to cut off my fingertips. But I burned for this question, and soon it will only be a lingering thought. Nothing is right, and that's terrifying. Fingertips. Maybe I should cut them off. <laughs>